Good morning traders. So how do we trade the DAX today? So I'm just starting off on the weekly on the DAX and uh, you'll notice that we have this green candle that is starting to pierce. So it's come from the bottom so basically what happened is price action gap down, buyer stepped in and they're now driving the price up. Okay so we have a bit of a piercing pattern. You'd like to see the close pretty much where this high is. Uh, by the end of the week that would give you a confirmation of a reversal pattern and um, then this measured move is what I'll be looking to play out so it'll be sort of that uh, move up retracement move up okay so that's kind of uh, what we what I'm seeing anyway on the the weekly and I can that yeah on the daily we are still very much in uh, confusion zone so you can see this rounding bottom that I spoke yesterday is still in play okay and uh, we've got the oscillators all grouped to the bottom and starting to cross over which is starting to indicate that we are going to be moving to the upside okay so at this stage we need to break below pretty much that area there for us to see a move to the downside okay there are still sellers at the top here and uh, we're gonna have to wait and see and I think the critical aspect here is sort of here and I would say there so that is the level this is the first level we need to get through that's the second level we need to get through okay so let's get to the four hour and have a look what's happening there so yesterday was pretty much a nothing day with uh, the US being on holiday and uh, at this stage DAX futures is slightly down um, basically one two three hundred so pretty much pretty much pretty close to where we closed um, just slightly below so nothing there that we need to worry about um, what is uh, not concerning me but uh, which is rather interesting is that we are staying above the 20 moving average at the moment on the 4 hour and remember for me when we stay below the 20 it is a downtrend when we stay above the 20 it is an uptrend that's kind of not a, a serious uptrend it's just like meandering to the upside so I suspect what we're looking to happen is there's another level we need to take Cognos of and that's going to be this one here okay so that's the, the, the level we definitely need to break but we are breaking these four hour fractals to the upside so I feel fairly bullish on this um, that we are going to move the upside and this question is when and um, unfortunately we dictated to by the US markets on this so we'll have to wait and see okay so on the one hour there's nothing to write home about on the oscillators we are pretty much in no man's land so there's nothing there and we are pretty much okay let's just bring this down to there so that's the first level we're gonna have to break so we need to break above here in order to come and challenge that level there okay so that's the simplicity of it so what I'll be waiting to see is how this 20 moving average plays out on the hour okay so if we just get rid of all the noise and just have a look at one other aspect here and that is this okay so we've, we had this triangle consolidation and we've broken up to the upside so I'd like to see us find some support here either on the 20 or alternatively on this breakout bar here if we can get support here uh, I'll definitely be looking for longs to move the upside because that would be a retest of this break at the same time that's kind of the, the thing that I'm looking at at the moment um, US markets are slightly down um, Japan is down so Hong Kong is down so yes, I, it may it may actually just turn here and uh, move completely to the downside so if we just delete that 
uh, move that to there and put that one in there. So if we do find uh, resistance at this level, this is an area for a short and uh, your target's going to be this area here. Okay, that's kind of um, my play at the moment. Uh, I definitely think there will be some selling happening at this level anyway. You can see if you look to the left, there's a lot of selling that's happened here. So um, I think the higher probability is that it's gonna, we will sell off here. And the question is where we're going to move to. Are we going to move to the downside? And uh, remember, this from, if you look at the hour, we've got a strong move down, consolidate. Normally, we move to the downside again. Okay. So that's kind of the, the play that I'm looking for is short from here. Uh, but really looking for profit taking at this area and then looking for a long at the bottom here. Okay, so that's kind of my play today. Um, you know, the one thing that's in the back of my mind is that this pattern here is not pretty, but we do have a grouping and we do have a rounding bottom. So there is a chance that this thing is going to move to the upside. Okay, um, and if we look at the four hour we can see that we are breaking four hour fractals and moving gradually to the upside. So now to me, this, this trend has for now changed until we're below the 20 moving average. Uh, I'll change my tune, but right now we are uh, in a potential trend change environment where we're going to move, the trend is going to move to the upside. Um, the hour is a different story. It's just saying we're in a massive big range and uh, we're not really well, over the last two days, we haven't really changed the trend. We've made a new high, but we're starting to make new lows. You can see low, low. Okay. And uh, high, lower high, lower high. Okay. So I think since we're trading the hour, definitely look for a short chart. May only be a scalp, but well worth it. And uh, probably target this area where we get long again. If we do break below here, then you're looking at targeting the bottom down here okay so yeah I suppose it all depends on how the Americans come back from their 4th of July holiday so I hope that helps guys that's by play anyway so looking for a short from the top and uh, long from the bottom of this range and uh, that's kind of how we'll play it today anyway enjoy the day uh, keep those stops tight and uh, I'll catch you later cheers man